Hello there. I'm Sean Connery. I... <laughs> and tonight... I'm going to be speculating on the gravitational pull of the Earth's climate toward the future of the outer space universe. CO2 levels in 8,000 years of civilization <laughs> seem to have taken a strong pull towards chicken embryos. And as my wife once told me, you can't make an omelet without <laughs> squeezing a midget's head till it explodes. Some days, when I get tired, I like to listen to Black Sabbath. I listen to Black Sabbath while cut on my lap. <laughs> I like to repair the shingles in my shining time station. <laughs> I don't understand what the fuck happened to that show. What the fuck happened to shining time station? Or what the fuck happened to you? Oh, I'm getting this. Oh, yes, that's right. I was going to read about shining. I mean, uh, Climate change, yes, yes. No, 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 not climate change. Uh, the granola people, yes. Yes, yes, Mr. Jose. I want to be sedated. Get me to the airplane, take me to the shore. <laughs> hurry, 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 before the dog foams. The mouth waiting for a little elf with the Prozac condition. Four on the splinters of the blood of Scottish patriots run aground. And Saint Elmo's fire. <clears throat> yes, Miss Pussy. Yes, yes, Miss Pussy. How much wood would a woodchuck fuck if a woodchuck could chuck fuck chuck woodchuck? You know, I have to say I admire that Jeffrey Tarver. I just wondered what human flesh tastes like. How about you? <laughs> you know, there was a time when I was acting where Sir Winston Churchill called me on the phone and asked me what kind of ice cream do I like? And I said, I don't know. I think you must have eaten all the ice cream, you fat arse. <laughs> There's no more ice cream left. And so, ladies and gentlemen, that is what happens when Jimmy Hoffa steals your underwear. You know what I'm saying? I tell you, Jimmy Hoffa stole my underwear. 
He stole my goddamn underwear. Uh, he's probably hired some guy who uh, shot me too. It's by old Jimmy Oswald. But then again, I don't know. I'd have to come back from the dead to prove it. Is that... Cabbage? You're wearing? I distinctly smell... The smell... Of smelly... Cabbage. What is with these bloody YouTube shit advertisements? Nobody wants to see an advertisement for shit that grows out of your nostrils when you've had too much coke. I know that's happened to me before. Lots of coke on my nostrils. I used to get a lot of coke in my eyeballs, too. That's because I used to drink formaldehyde. Not sure how that happened. Well, you got a problem with me, Numpty. I don't think you know what you're talking about. Yes, interesting. We'll take one twelve ounce bag of frozen rice cauliflower like the green giant, two tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese. One fourth teaspoon of onion powder. One fourth teaspoon of garlic powder. One fourth teaspoon of garlic powder extra virgin olive oil. You know, if you Check off with olive oil? Then technically it's not a virgin anymore. <laughs> One half cup shredded cheddar cheese, and you'll preheat the oven to a 375 degrees heat. And you know <laughs> that if you <laughs> stick your hand <laughs> in acid <laughs> for 10 seconds, <laughs> the flesh will burn off, <laughs> and then you can eat it. <laughs> Uh, one time, a uh, friend said to me, uh, came up to me, he said, Hey, Jack, you know what the worms are for? I said, What's that, pal? Watch. He told me that the worms are there to take revenge out on the humans. That's what the worms are for. The worms are there to eat the humans and digest them and turn them into fertilizer so then the trees can grow. That's why we have trees. And did you know that Oysters can randomly change their sex. How fucked up is that? The frogs can randomly change their sex. So, if a frog gets tired of not having a girlfriend, does he randomly change his sex to a girl? Or does he somehow in between changing his sex to a girl, does he 
Fuck himself. No. Sometimes those are things that you ought to think about because you don't know if that's what happens. You don't know what the frogs are thinking about, man. You don't know. They became insane with long intervals of horrible sanity. Someday, someday, the SWAT people <laughs> will climb out of their jalopies and they'll come for you. So he, so he says, he says, like, you know, yeah, like, the Queen of England, right? You know, she's, she's like a robot, right? Like, like, she's, like, got no feelings and stuff, you know? So then, uh, so I says to the guy, I says, well, what are you, what are you talking about, man? You seen the Queen Elizabeth? I mean, she's like a lizard, man. She's like, you know, lizard teeth and shit, man. And he's like, yeah, well, that's weird. Because I saw, like, Kate Winslet the other day, you know. And, like, uh, like uh, I, uh, you know, I had, uh, you know, a couple of beers, you know. And uh, so then, like, uh, she walked up to me and then, uh, like, a spaghetti monster just, like, flew into the air. You know what I'm saying? And then I'm like, hey, what's going on, Spaghetti Monster? And he's like, I don't know, man. And I'm like, you know, people, like, don't pay enough attention to amoebas. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, next thing you know, I'm, like, naked and, like, her uh, tits are in my face. And I'm like, what's up with that? And I'm like, I don't know. And, like, you know, alligators, like, are, like, living in, like, people's apartments. And, uh, like, you know, kids get, like, run over by, uh, you know, like, lawnmowers and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, so, so then I saw Jello be offering, and Jello says, Hey, what's up with all them, like, uh, you know, Republicans, like, uh, pissing in, like, people's, uh, you know, like, water streams, you know? And I'm like, I don't know. And I'm like, you know, once when I, like, drank some, like, turpentine, like, I started seeing things, you know? And he's like, yeah. So, so, like, the frog said to me, like, how many beetles does it take to, uh, you know, like, uh, start, uh, you know, dancing. And I'm like, I don't know. I once met a beetle. His name was, like, John F. Candy. And then, uh, I, uh, snorted some, uh, mustard up my nose, and then, uh, I was feeling better. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you preheat the oven, and you divide the mixture evenly into a greased uh, 24 cup mini muffin tin. Using a fork, you press the mixture down into each cup, 
and you bake for about 20 minutes till the tots are golden brown. I once had a hot and tot. I had a hot and tot while I was thinking about suicide. And I was thinking about all those old people who just walked around every day with the mildew and the drench and the drain that was clogging up their lungs and how they were having a hard time breathing. And then a worm came up to me and we started talking. And I hitched up my umbrella and I flew over down the drain up to St. Paul and I met a girl there who talks to ghosts and drives around in an old beat up wagon and I drank some Kool-Aid as I laid down on the ground with the eggplants and the daffodils chirping. And that's when I knew that St. Augustine was gonna be back someday and the swamp people were gonna come around and they were gonna play on their harmonicas and everybody will be Shouting, hallelujah, spring healed fortress of the Knights of Melrose, hallelujah, oh, hallelujah, <laughs> true story too.